Hi everyone, welcome back. I had a student of mine requesting to learn a new song that I didn't know, so we sat to, you know, to listen to it and we try to figure it out to see what he's doing there. And at first I was like, wow, this is a, a 50s classic. I, I missed that somehow. I've never heard of this guy. This guy is Steph Steven Sanchez. I hope I'm uh, pronouncing it correctly. And then my student told me, no, no, this is from last year, from two years ago. This is 2021. And I was like, what? I mean, I know about uh, retro uh, and throwback songs, but this, you just gotta listen to it. So I decided I have to make a video about this. Uh, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about this song and see what makes it such a powerful 50s throwback. So here we go. Just start from the beginning. <laughs> Only from this opening, from this entrance, it, it throws you back immediately to the time and place uh, it means to. It has this tremolo effect. You hear this like vibrations in the sounds. Tremolo means to, to tremble, to shake. So it's an effect of a guitar. It's very, it was very common at the time. So for example, this chord with this effect throws me immediately to dream, dream by the Everly Brothers. Now the chord progression itself, as far as I can tell, is that he uses a capo on the 10th fret, which is pretty high. It's a very difficult uh, position. And he's playing a, a C shape. It's, it's B flat, but it's a C shape. Like that. And then E minor shape. Okay. F. F minor. Go. Add, add a 9 and then a 6. So it's a first degree. Third. Fourth. And then a minor fourth. This kind of progression is very common uh, with music uh, at the time, but even a little after, because this like this trick, this fourth that goes to the minor fourth, especially if it goes to one after, it's a very powerful, very sentimental, very emotional uh, progression. This like, like you can hear something breaks. It's like it has this nice melody because it goes from six this to the six flat, and then to the five. So. So I can I can immediately hear the um, the Beatles. There are places I remember. Da, 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 da. You hear it? It's like you can really feel it. Also in Bobby Vinton's uh, Mr. Lonely, it's, uh, there is like now I'm a soldier, a lonely soldier away from home. We really uh, anticipate it. Da, na, 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 na. That's why I'm lonely. A lot of times it's in the most uh, sentimental part of the, of the line. So already this opening is very effective. It's very uh, reminiscent of, of, of the time and it's very sentimental and it's very beautiful. All right, let's hear some singing. There we go. Georgia, me alone. I don't know about you, maybe it's just me, but I can't be the only one. When I first heard it, when it started with like, Georgia, right? I was sure it's gonna go, Georgia, Georgia. Georgia on my mind. It's the same interval. Georgia, also crazy. Crazy. Fun. So it's something about this, this uh, descending sixth. Da, da. This song sounds like many other songs, but not too much like one specific song. I think that's one of the things that makes it so effective. I guess that's uh, supposed to be Marilyn Monroe next to him. Nice harmony. All right, so in the chorus, it's F shape, okay? Da, na, da, 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 da. It goes to G shape. Da, na, C, da, 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 E minor, right? So. C7. for this minor. Beautiful. <laughs> it's 
it's got the looks, right? To be a 50 star, everything is just perfect here. It's the looks and the moves and this like... That's the kind of groove that makes you wanna, you know, grab someone and just slow dance, right? Pulled me in, I asked you. Nice harmonies. goes to the so, to the chorus again. So guitar solo. What's it doing here? Okay, it's something like something like that. So he's doing the chord and then Something like that. Even the comment section is extremely powerful. I'm, I'm 80 and still this song gives me the vibe to dance with my late wife. That's uh, People react to this kind of thing. So I think the secret of this song is that it takes uh, many different uh, beautiful things from all kinds of songs, but it doesn't, uh, again, it doesn't sound too much like one specific song. You know, sometimes when I uh, drive with my son, I, I play music for him. So sometimes I put this um, Spotify 50s mix. And there's something about this uh, decade. Some of the songs sound even, uh, sometimes even juvenile. It has songs like uh, Splish Splash, I Was Taking a Bath. You know, stuff you expect to hear at like 80-year-old's birthday party. And a lot of the songs are like that, are very juvenile. Very naive, very romantic, Disney kind of songs with lots of sugar, you know, a lot of sweetness. It's like a chocolate cake, all this music sometimes. It's very naive and very clean cut and very, uh, very beautiful and very sentimental in this way. I wonder, it's interesting to think what caused that could be a trauma from, uh, from the war, could be many things, but the music of the later decade, the 60s, did not sound like that at all. It sound much more sophisticated interesting to think about anyway that's what i thought about this song i really recommend you listen to it i wonder if he has other things i'll definitely check him out and uh let me know what you think and i'll see you next time see ya